So, sunset. Beautiful in the sky, but what about on your face? <laughs> Not sure what inspired this, but I wanted to do another fun sort of costumey makeup look, and this idea just sort of came to me. On one side, I did a cityscape, complete with a bridge. Shout out to MIC! And on the other, sort of a um, tropical beachscape. By the by, this was super improv. So if it looks like some steps were rearranged, they probably were. I was trying to make it as cohesive of a tutorial as possible. Hi! Okay, so starting off moisturizing the lips. Baby lips is just the first thing I put my hands on. And then the face. This is a sample of Ole Hendrickson Advanced Hydration Truth Cream. It's from an Ipsy Glam Bag and I've never used it before. It smells sort of like citrus and gardenia. After that, BB Cream. I wear this every day as foundation. It's L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in Medium. Then onto those pesky circles. I use the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Dark Bisque. For blemishes, I whipped out the Lise Wadier Concealer Wheel and evened out my skin with a concealer brush. Then, I set it with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Medium and a stippling brush by Japanesque. I lost my regular eye primer, so I just used this one from a drugstore I bought forever ago and I don't really like. The biggest problem is that I can't get my finger into the pot without getting crap under my nails, so I have to use a brush. Which I usually get frustrated with and switch to my fingers afterwards anyway. Then I took a spoolie and the medium flesh colored concealer and the least Wadier wheel and combed it through the last two thirds or so of my eyebrow to lighten it because I was too lazy to deal with covering it. Then I used my finger to blend it out. Next, surprise surprise, the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. This goes on the inner corners and across about two thirds or so of the lash line and then blend it out with your finger. After that, I took my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Fierce and Tangy and put it over my eyelid and upper brow bone. Also, blend it out to the temple since there'll be color there eventually. Next, another jumbo pencil, this one in Rust Rui. This I used to define my crease, and I sort of curved it down on my bottom lash line before drawing it out to blend it into the temple. This shadow is Golden Poppy by NYX, and I'm just setting the white jumbo pencil. I thought it was sort of like where the sun is setting or something? I don't know. Then, in the 88 palette, I'm using this sort of macaroni and cheese orange as a wash on the eyelid. From the same palette, I'm taking the bright red and setting it the crease and the orange I put out to the temples. And that was too much red. So I took this JCAT Sparkling Cream palette and using this orange color, I blended it over all of the red I just put down except for the crease. Then, large smudge brush and that same orange from the 88 palette to blend out the edges a little on the temples and down the nose. After that, I used the Hip Cream Eyeliner in Midnight Blue to draw pretty much a straight line right along the bottom of my eye, leaving space along the lash line. The eyebrow I cut short, and then sort of curved it up above the orange just to chisel out a shape. Then I curved the blue down around the cheekbone and blended it out a bit with my finger. Darkened in the temple and defined it a bit before blending that as well. It didn't record, but I set it with a Maybelline Eye Studio palette in Blowout Blue. And I used this sort of sparkly navy blue. Then I used the middle color in this CoverGirl Trio in number 125 Dance Party on the edges of the blue and blended with my finger. Now for the cityscape, I used a liquid liner and drew a straight line from the corner of my eye to my hairline. 
I lined the eye to the corner, and then I basically started drawing rectangles. Varying heights look the best, so draw medium ones, short ones, tall ones, and of course fill them in. Of course it's not NYC without a bridge, so straight line up and then a curved line down toward the inner corner. For the support cables I just drew V shapes, like a zigzag. That's how those guys with the spray paint do it on the streets that I've seen, so I figured it'll work pretty well. The tropical side didn't record for some reason, but I used an angled brush and the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, just for something different. I'm gonna set it with some black eyeshadow, so I'll try to explain how I did it now. It was really simple. I lined the eye and drew from the outer corner, curving up to make the trunk of the palm tree. And then drew another line to make the beach jutting out into the water. The fronds were just a few curved lines downwards, and it probably would have helped if I had some kind of reference picture to look at while I was doing this. And the birds were just little curved marks. I also put black shadow over the cityscape to make it darker and more opaque. Then I took my white Rimmel soft coal pencil to line my lower waterline. and set it with white eyeshadow. This is just cheap drugstore shadow, White Lie by Giordano. Then black coal liner for the tight line. This is Starlux Coal Pencil and Obsidian. Didn't set this with black powder, but should have. You should do that, yeah. Also sharpen your pencil before you stab it in your eye. Makes things less painful. Now curl and apply mascara. I'm just using my Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara because it's the first one I picked up. By the way, this little tiny brush is pretty good for getting those bottom lashes. falsies, of course. I lost the package for these, so ignore the blue ones, but they are demi lashes from Japanese. Also, pay more attention to what you're doing instead of if you're in frame on camera, or else this might happen. Yeah. Let's put that lash right side up on the correct eye. For fun stuff, I took my Milani Liquify Metallic Eyeliner in silver and started adding stars in the dark blue at the eyebrows and temples. Do whatever you want, get creative. Meteor anyone? one of those X-shaped bright star. Crescent moon, go crazy. A little dab will show up super bright, so don't go overboard. To finish it off, I patted on some twig lipstick by MAC, which is the color I wear every day. It's sort of like a your lip color but better shade for me, and I use it as sort of a stain here because the lips really didn't need much. And you thought we were done with cheeks. Nope. This is NYX Mosaic Powder in Paradise, and I'm just swirling it with a dome brush, tapping off most of the excess, and then swirling it on the cheekbones for a little more color. Not that it needs it, but you can accessorize this. I have an orange flower that'd work. Or red hair sticks. Dark blue flowers would look cute too. 
but I opted to go for sunglasses because then you can whip them off and show off the sunset whenever you want. But yeah, that's the look, just a fun costumey kind of style. City on one side, vacation on the other. Feel free to switch it up. Make it all party or all relaxing. Whatever you want your silhouettes to be, make them yours. And here I'm trying to be Wayne Goss. <laughs> anyway, until next time, I hope your life is full of color.